good morning to all today we are discussing computer science first of all do you know what is a computer yes computer is an electronic machine computer is an electronic machine what do you mean by electronic machine any machine that works with the help of electricity is called electronic machine computer also works with electricity so we can say computer is an electronic machine okay computer is an electronic machine do you know who invented computer yes charles babbage charles babbage so father of computer is charles babbage computer is an electronic machine father of computer is charles babbage computer is an electronic machine father of computer is charles babbage okay now we discuss some of the uses of computer computers are mainly used for playing games type letters numbers and symbols play movies listen music draw pictures etc so some of the uses are play games type letters numbers and symbols play movies listen music draw pictures etc now we are discussing some places where we use the computer first of all schools office hospitals home railway station airport etc so some of the places are schools office hospitals home railway station airport etc okay these are the things you know very clearly now we are discussing a little more chapter that is how a computer works how a computer works okay first of all a computer works based on the ipo cycle a computer works based on the ipo cycle what do you mean by ipo ipo means input process output what is ipo input process output so a computer works based on the ipo cycle ipo means input process output now we discuss what is an input okay what is an input the data we give to the computer okay what is an input the data we give to the computer is called input example letters numbers symbols if you are typing these letters numbers or symbols into the computer then those data are called input then how will you type yes for that we use one of our input device so input devices are used to give input to the computer example keyboard mouse etc how will you type we type by using the keyboard keyboard is an example of input device so the data we give to the computer is called an input example letters numbers symbols etc the input devices are used to give input to the computer example keyboard mouse etc next is the process after getting the data some functions will happen inside the cpu that function is called a process what do you mean by process after getting the data that is after getting the input some functions or some operations will happen inside the cpu that functions are called process that function is called the process and the only processing unit is cpu all functions are happen inside the cpu so the only processing unit is our cpu what is the full form of cpu yes central processing unit central processing unit so after the getting the data after getting the data some functions will happen inside the cpu that function is called process the only processing unit is cpu the central processing unit next is the output the result we get after processing the data is called the output the result we get after processing the data is called the output and we get the output through the output devices we get the output through which devices yes output devices example monitor printer etc the result we get after processing the data is called the output and we get this output through output devices example monitor printer etc so in short how a computer works first we want to give the input to the computer then what do you want some process will happen inside the cpu then we will get the result that is the output okay now we will start our chapter chapter 1 parts of computer okay chapter 1 parts of computer you are familiar with many parts of computer let me say some of them first of all 
மானிட்டர் கீபோர்ட் மவுஸ் சிபியு பிரிண்டர் ஸ்கேனர் ஸ்பீக்கர் எக்ஸட்ரா ஸோ தி பார்ட்ஸ் ஆஃப் பார்ட்ஸ் ஆஃப் கம்ப்யூட்டர்ஸ் ஆர் கேட்டகரைஸ்ட் ஆர் கிளாசிஃபைட் இன் டூ த்ரீ கேட்டகரிஸ் கம்ப்யூட்டர் பார்ட்ஸ் ஆர் மெயின்லி கிளாசிஃபைட் இன் டூ த்ரீ கேட்டகரிஸ் ஃபஸ்ட் ஆஃப் ஆல் சிபியு சென்ட்ரல் ப்ராசஸிங் யூனிட் இன்புட் யூனிட் அவுட்புட் யூனிட் சென்ட்ரல் ப்ராசஸிங் யூனிட் இன்புட் யூனிட் அண்ட் அவுட்புட் யூனிட் சென்ட்ரல் ப்ராசஸிங் யூனிட் இஸ் கால் த பிரெயின் ஆஃப் தி கம்ப்யூட்டர் ஆல் தி லாஜிக் இஸ் அப்ளைடு ஹியர் வாடி மின் பை லாஜிக் ஆல் தி ஃபங்க்ஷன்ஸ் ஆர் ஹேப்பன் இன்சைட் த சிபியு சிபியு சென்ட் சிக்னல்ஸ் டு கண்ட்ரோல் தி அதர் பார்ட்ஸ் ஆஃப் தி கம்ப்யூட்டர் அதர் பார்ட்ஸ் ஆஃப் தி கம்ப்யூட்டர் ஆர் கண்ட்ரோல்ட் பை த சிபியு ஃபார் தட் சிபியு சென்ட் சம் சிக்னல்ஸ் ஸோ வட் யூ வட் யூ சே அபவுட் சிபியு CPU is the brain of the computer all the logic is applied here CPU sends signals to control the other parts of the computer again the CPU is divided into three parts the first one is MU memory unit next CU control unit three ALU arithmetical and logical unit MU memory unit CU control unit ALU arithmetical and logical unit see the figure first of all we give input to the computer then it undergoes to the cpu through three parts memory unit control unit arithmetic and logical unit after that we get the result so the parts of cpu are mu memory unit cu control unit alu arithmetic and logical unit first we describe about the mu memory unit memory unit is also called as main memory or random access memory you are familiar with the ram okay so memory unit is called as the main memory or ram random access memory ram means random access memory memory unit is also called as main memory or random access memory next memory unit stores instructions data and result memory unit stores instructions data and result next is the control unit control unit controls all the operations of all parts of a computer all the parts of the computer are controlled by our control unit next it manages and coordinates all the units of the computer including the input and output unit all the parts of the computer means all the input devices and output devices so all the parts of the computer are controlled that means manages and coordinates by the control unit or cu and the last one is arithmetic and logical unit alu from the name itself we can say it performs all the arithmetic and logical operations next what do you mean by arithmetic operations arithmetic operation means addition subtraction multiplication division okay addition subtraction multiplication and division next is what do you mean by logical operations logical operation means less than greater than equal to etc so arithmetic and logical unit performs all the arithmetic and logical functions arithmetic means addition subtraction multiplication division logical operation means less than greater than or equal to etc so these are the main parts and functions of cpu so we will conclude the portion here on next class we will continue the next section thank you